So today we're talking about a thriller written by an indigenous author that takes place on a reservation. So stick around to see what it's all about. Well, hey friends, Roger here, and welcome to my channel, Roger's Reads. So today we're talking about a book entitled Winter Counts by David Heska Wombly Wyden. And I was delighted when I started reading this and discovered that it takes place on the Rosebud Reservation in South Dakota. I actually rode through that reservation a couple of years ago during a motorcycle trip, as well as through the uh, Pine Ridge Reservation, which was also mentioned in the book. So this, these facts really brought the story to life for me, and I recognized a lot of the places that they talked about. Now, I don't know if I could really classify this as a thriller. You know, it's more of a crime fiction story, though there were certainly some uh, thrilling elements to it. But I decided to chat about it anyway on Thriller Thursday, nonetheless, as I think it would appeal to those who enjoy mysteries, thrillers, or crime fiction. So we follow our main character, Virgil Wounded Horse, a Lakota man living on the Rosebud Reservation, who is kind of a vigilante. Others simply refer to him as a hired thug. So, when the justice system fails, people hire tough guy Virgil, who ends up delivering, shall we say, his own sort of punishment. So when the government decides not to prosecute or pursue those who commit rape, assault, or even murder on the indigenous peoples, you call Virgil. He will take care of it for you. So in fact, the story opens with Virgil delivering some of his uh, special justice to a rogue teacher who is uh, sexually assaulting one of his young students. So because of his chosen career, uh, Virgil's kind of an outsider in the community and uh, people tend to, for the most part, to stay clear of him, unless, of course, they have need of his services. Uh, he's also a reformed alcoholic and is trying to turn his life around. So the latest job that he's hired for by his ex's father, nonetheless, is quite a bit different than his previous assignments. The man has requested that Virgil find out who's bringing heroin onto the reservation and make them stop any way he can. It appears that both men know who the culprit is, someone who used to bully Virgil, in fact, so uh, Virgil doesn't hesitate in taking the case. But the task then becomes personal when his beloved teenage nephew, who is Virgil's charge, overdoses on heroin and nearly dies, which motivates Virgil all the more to get to the bottom of the situation. But as Virgil soon discovers, things are a lot more complicated than he had thought and much more dangerous. Things really get interesting when he's pretty much forced to collaborate with the feds, which may or may not go according to plan and ends up seriously endangering certain lives in the process with, well, shall we say, murder being a strong possibility. So this was really a compelling character-driven story as we really got to delve into Virgil's mind and had first-hand insights into his motivations. You know, Virgil is such a riveting character with so many layers and vulnerabilities and conflicting motivations and it's apparent that he's trying to figure out his place in the world and fit in to his world. So there's a lot more to him than simply a, a tough guy, a vigilante for hire. In fact, all of the characters in this story are richly developed, complex, and engaging. It was also a riveting, sometimes gritty look at what life is like at the reservation. And I also appreciated the discussion around the native traditions, ceremonies, and teachings that Virgil had come to reject over the years. 
But apart from that, there's also a serious conversation around the important issues of uh, drug abuse, economic poverty, and horrendous injustices aimed at Indigenous people, which was uh, truly heartbreaking in places to read. The lack of government involvement around serious crimes was especially eye-opening, especially given by, that by federal law, tribal police couldn't prosecute any federal crimes that happened in the reservation. So in this way, the legal system is mostly non-existent, so criminals, criminals can walk away. And then you end up turning to a man like Virgil to find justice. So really, this novel worked for me on so many levels. I loved learning about the culture, and the author really brought the characters and the setting to life for me. This extremely well-written novel was touching, endearing, and humorous in places, shocking, heartbreaking, and heart-mending in others. It touched on so many serious issues that affect indigenous people today, and in so doing, I feel that it provides valuable insight into these issues. Additionally, the author gives us a compelling heart in your throat mystery to solve as Virgil enters into a deep web of corruption, deception, and danger, and quickly finds himself way over his head. You know, it was really difficult for me to leave Virgil behind as I finished this action-packed book, as I grew quite attached to his character throughout the pages. I do hope that the author gives us more books that follow this character, as I definitely would love to see Virgil Wounded Horse once again. So, did you like this video? If so, please click the like button below, as that really helps my channel out. And as always, I thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate all of your support. And I'll talk to you all in the next video. Roger and out. Oh.